Good morning, my beautiful people. Your wishing sky fly girl. I just landed back to Yinchuan from another city. I think it's called Jinzhou. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm not very good with the names. And now I'm ready, like that, uh, going downstairs because we organized a tour to the tombs, uh, Shia Imperial tombs. I told you yesterday about this tomb compound, one of the biggest ones could I want to see. It's a bit chilly outside, still 19 degrees, so I have my jacket on top. No time to grab breakfast because the car will be downstairs in five minutes, so I'm just gonna go and check if I can grab coffee and croissant to take with me. Okay, let's go downstairs. I'm very excited. I'm not gonna take a scarf. I think I will not get really cold. Do I have everything? I think so. Okay, so let's go. Wow, look at this lamp. I'm gonna show you from this view because it's better. Look. Beautiful. Okay, so hopefully coffee is waiting for me. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I quickly grab some breakfast because I told you I have no time. I have coffee and uh, two croissants. So now we're in the taxi. Uh, it will cost around 450 uh, yuan of money to get to the tombs because this is a huge place. So we decided to explore it first. And I'm in the taxi, not alone. <laughs> I have my lovely, lovely friends. We have Diana, Diana from Colombia. Hola. And we have Silvia from Hello. Malaysia. And we have Dave. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna show you the taxi inside. Um, it's kind of divided between the driver and the cabin. Uh, the first time I saw it in China when I was living here. So this is the second time I see it when I came on the layover. Let me show you quickly. So that's how it looks like. So if you wanna <laughs> do anything with the driver, you'll get no chance. Because he's properly secured. <laughs> Because the driver is going to buy tickets for us, we are paying around 90 yuan, which is uh, 20, I think, for the electric car that you can take from the south entrance gate uh, towards the tomb itself. So let me tell you about history a little bit. Right now we are at the UNESCO uh, Cultural Heritage uh, to, uh, Site, 35 kilometers uh, further from uh, west of Yinchuan. The place was uh, created in 1038, I think so, by uh, Tungut ethnic uh, dynasty, and was destroyed in 1227 uh, by Mongols, uh, who then um, established the Yuan dynasty. Here we can see nine uh, emperor mausoleums and 254 subordinate tombs. Uh, num tomb number three is the largest one of the mausoleums, so we're gonna go and see everything there. This is the largest UNESCO cultural heritage site, uh, preserved uh, about the Tungu dynasty. You can take a bus from the main station in Yinchuan, uh, you can take a travel guide and travel tour, or you can just grab a taxi, share it and uh, come here. Now we're gonna go inside, grab an electric car and go to the museum. <laughs> uh, no, guys, we are doing some technical issues, so we are fixing the uh, audio guide because the issue is that if you get English here, uh, it's going to be only tour guide. The physical guide is going to walk with you and explain everything. But uh, because we have uh, Sylvia, who speaks Mandarin, uh, we have this uh, tour guide, so she's going to tell us everything what she's going to hear. I'll try. <laughs> So we're approaching the Western Shia Museum uh, that displays the artifacts of the Western Shia dynasty. That's how it looks like and we're gonna enter inside now. The price of the ticket is included in our entrance, entry ticket. So we're gonna see the layout of the whole tomb uh, compound. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Here we see the layout of the Shia dynasty and as I already told you, the tomb number three is the largest one because it is devoted uh, to the founder of the Shia dynasty, Mr. Li Yuan Hao. Now we came to the coin section that uh, shows uh, very, uh, coins of the Western Shia dynasty for sure, Western Shia kingdom. For me they look exactly the same like right now, you can buy these little medallions that you hang uh, on the chain. But what I'm really interested about jewelry, here I have the golden decoration that's really, really tiny. I'll, yeah, I cannot really show you. But uh, I, you know, guys, that I collect vases, and here I also have vases. I got one in London on the vintage market. Well, let me just show you because vases, it's my passion. This carved jar with the peony uh, design, these are very beautiful. So we just got closer to the tomb compound, so I want to show you that it was built originally in the Pagoda octagonal style. You can see it here. And it becomes a bit busy here because a lot of 
tours and groups come and uh, you know they have tour guides speaking. So about the tomb compounds, I wanted to say that the whole tombs are built uh, a couple of floors, let's say number three. Tomb is built with a seven story a structure made of uh, earth and protected with wood. And there are a few glazed uh, sculptures that were excavated in 2001 from the Emperor's Tomb number 3. So now we're in a different hall that um, uh, shows the literature and magazines and books whoever mentioned about Western Shia Imperial Tombs. I'm gonna show you one magazine I really like. Here they are. That's the outside pictures, look. How beautiful are these flowers! Wow, very velvety texture. Look, wow. Now we're moving to the tomb number three from the museum, and in general, the tomb number three imperial burial site is composed of the tomb number three itself, the inner city, and the moon city. So that's a big, huge complex. So now we're gonna go to move closer. So that's no need for the electric car any longer. We'll have to walk. As soon as we enter, the beautiful columns uh, show us the city. Mm. Now Sylvia from Malaysia told me that uh, uh, this one to touch it. So this is very, very cold. It's like fridge. The marble, the real marble must be very cold. Otherwise, it's not real. Gates, entrance uh, that is surrounded by one tomb and another one behind me. So that's the gate. So now we're gonna enter to the cemetery. It's very spacious territory. My first impression is uh, it's such a perfect place. A lot of mountains around. Let me show you. It's just beautiful in the middle of the valley, surrounded by the mountains. So we're going closer to the tomb number uh, three. Uh, a lot of uh, artifacts and a lot of sculptures and statues was taken uh, from the tomb and presented in the museum that I showed you already. Honestly, this territory, if I don't film tombs, this looks like Russia, as if I'm in Kemerova city in Siberia right now. These are my guys trying to wait for me and to explore more. Yeah! <laughs> I want to show you the dimensions of it with the guys who are standing there already. Check, that's how big it is. So 36 uh, is the base uh, diameter of the tomb and 24 meters is the high. That's one of the hugest. I wish I could go inside, but uh, I guess we only can check it in National Geographic magazine sometimes, like some years later. Wow, such a big seven-story tomb. Okay, let's go back. While we were taking a little uh, electric car, I braided my hair very quickly because it's windy and I want to look a bit different <laughs> when it's windy, not, not messy hair everywhere because it's a vast territory and wind is great. Now we came to the tomb number one and two that look like this, but uh, it's not really the main site, but uh, because we have the car, why not to come and see? So here we are, guys are going a bit further and it reminds me a bit of a Stonehenge in uh, UK because it's also surrounded uh, by the gate and then inside the construction itself. We just came uh, to the restaurant, guys, and uh, the local Chinese restaurant in front of the film studio. We're having tea, the herbal tea. It's very nice. That's how the sugar looks like. It's uh, rock sugar. Rock sugar. Wow. I'm going to show you menu quickly so you can see, have imagination what we're going to order. It's up to you guys. You guys only with noodles or with uh, fried rice or just white rice. It's up to you guys. Because usually we go with uh, white rice because like these so have it goes with everything. Yeah. Okay. 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 What do you guys want? Now? What I, I don't know. Maybe we can have a some soup, you know? And we can. I don't know if we like soup. So now we got lamb for, and the sauce. Maybe spicy. Maybe not. Let's try. How was it, Dave? Good. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. And now we're having fried rice. The lamb is almost done. I'm sure you would like to take a photo of that one. We're having another food. Oh, very hot. This is the fried cabbage with the noodles. <laughs> so you're from that. Here it is. Uh. <laughs> looks different to them. Yeah, it looks different. Mm. Is it? Yeah. yeah. 
and when almost everything is finished here on the table, we got our fish. It should be not spicy. I hope it's not at all. We just finished our lunch, guys, and it was an amazing experience. Honestly, I hope you really enjoyed the vlog. And thank you so much for being with us. Next vlog will be about the film studio that we're gonna show you. Watch it next. Don't forget and subscribe to Skyfly Girl. See you later.